Hey everybody, welcome back to the Snorlax Den. So I know I've not been super excited on the newest sets that are released in Japanese, which include Raging Surf, Ancient Roar, and Future Flash. And I think part of that's just due to a little bit of overload. And we've really had so much that is released this year. Uh, and it eventually starts to get to be a lot, especially if you're trying to keep up and, and open some of everything that's available and even, you know, just trying to see what you want to collect. However, I think in order to give it justice that I need to spend some time opening uh, these newer products. So today I'm gonna open up a box of Raging Surf. Um, and there are some really good artwork in this set, which include the Groudon, uh, which kind of evokes a, a Godzilla vibe, uh, even more so than the Tyranitar from um, the Paldea Evolved set. And I'm not sure you know, which one that was from Japanese because I hadn't quite gotten into Japanese card collecting at that point. Um, but that's certainly one of my chase cards for the Raging Surf set. But there's a lot of other really neat artwork in there. Um, so we're going to open it up, see what we get today, and just kind of get a feel for the set and, and how we like it. All right, let's get going. All right, so here we go. Here is our box of Raging Surf to open. This is my first time opening this set up. Um, so I'm excited to see... What we pull out of this, as I mentioned, uh, the Groudon is certainly one of my chase cards for this set, so I'll be pretty excited if I pull that one out. Uh, 30 packs, five cards each, so let's see what we got. I do like that Ghastly. I'm betting that's going to show up uh, next year in the Halloween set. There's Parasol Lady. Uh, the Basculin, I think. Oh, and now we got the Bombardier EX. And is it the Whizcash? <clears throat> so not a bad start to our day. And I totally forgot to put sleeves up here. So I will definitely be sleeving those up later. And we'll see whether or not we put this in there. Is it a Scraggy? Uh, is that the layer? I don't remember. Joltik. Yeah, hold on. Hollow and the Rika. A lot of cards in this set. We don't have time to, to look at the artwork for everyone, so we will go a little bit fast on this. The Haunter, again, I bet that will go into the um, holiday set. And the Goldingo EX. Uh, so, already pulling two EXs out of this deck. And the Goldingo EX in English, uh, I believe, has got some competitive play for uh, the trading for the game the snorunt there's the gimme ghoul and the hollow golosapod and that absol that absol is pretty cool um kind of like that work on that with 30 packs again we don't we don't have time to admire all the artwork but we do want to uh, get a feel for the set there's the nicket puzzle Clay doll, rare candy. Again, with Japanese booster boxes, you should be guaranteed. I like that Jirachi. Guaranteed one um, SAR in there, and that's a pretty sweet Gengar as well. Uh, so, I, again, I expect that I wouldn't be surprised if that trio ends up being in the uh, Trick or Trade set next year, since this would have released uh, too early for that to be in this year's. And that, that pack was a bust, not even a hollow. That's kind of a bummer. But that's kind of part of uh, the Japanese packs. You're not, you're not guaranteed uh, to get a hollow in them. <clears throat> but again, it is seated at least uh, where you will get an SAR in a, in a booster box. <clears throat> Which is it's pretty nice guaranteed, um, especially since pull rates for the English Paradox Rift, of which Raging Surf is a part of that, um, seem to have been altered to what uh, we've seen so far in the Scarlet and Violet era. So that's the Evetto. Um, so that's a pretty sweet looking card. Definitely ominous dark on that one. So that's one of our uh, art rares. And 
feeling so unprepared without those sleeves by me, but I wasn't going to go and rip through it. So excited I dropped the cards down. Um, but we didn't really pull anything from that. The Flamingo's pretty cool. So is the Mantike. Uh, the Mantike. Garchomp. That's certainly one of the more... That's one of the bigger chase cards in the set is that Garchomp. Um, there is an SAR version. There is also a gold version of the Garchomp. And yeah, that one's pretty cool. I like the hollow effect on its hands. Um, that's pretty neat. So that's another one of our, our ARs. So two ARs. Two of the, the double rare EXs. And the Hoopa EX. So three standard EX products at this point. Nice thing is these Japanese packs open really, really easily. Bust on that one. But with only five cards per booster pack, uh, they end up going pretty pretty quickly. Uh, one of the other chases in this is the the parasol lady. Um, I just really like the artwork on it because it's very reminiscent of more of a traditional anime style artwork. Just kind of in the, the style that it's done um, and the expression uh, that she's got on her face. And the, the SAR in particular is, is pretty amazing. So I would love to pull that um, or the ground down. So oh, there's the Hoopa EX. So that's one of our secret rares. That is a pretty cool card. And the, at least the terrestrialized, you know, giant crystal hat doesn't look too out of place uh, with the rest of the artwork on the card. That might have been our one big hit for the box. Fampy. And a Gligar. That's a pretty cool Groudon. Not the one I'm looking for, but still. That's some pretty good artwork on that one. I, I like the fact that the Japanese cards don't end up having a lot of fluff in it. So you don't have a code card. You don't have an energy. Um, which, if you're a collector, you don't really want the energies anyway. So it just ends up being... Um, extra weight in your booster box, extra bulk that you've got left over um, at that point. So it's, it's nice that there's, there's less fluff overall. And if you look at, you look at this, it's, the prices are actually fairly comparable, yeah, even though by the time you get it over here, you're paying more than you would for it in Japan. Um, on a per card basis, well, it's a little bit more expensive, but um, the quality tends to be much better than in the English set. So the value that they can hold tends to be a little bit higher as a result. That mini ore is also uh, a pretty neat AR card. Um, that I'd like to get, but yeah, you can't uh, can't collect them all sometimes. So let's just see what we else we pull from this box. We got three packs left. It's 
Norant, Amigo. Oh, is this the Frostlass, I think? EX? So the double rare on that one. Oh, the Aegis Lash. So that's a that's a pretty cool um, card as well. I like the uh, the fact that it kind of just blends into the scenery. It reminds me of the Sudowubu from um, how they evolved, um, where he's just kind of in the line of trees and and just blends in like another tree along the uh, the parkway. pack and the Vettel so not not bad overall um, just taking a quick look at what we did pull so in terms of the regular EX's uh, we ended up with four of those so the Bombardier oh, trying to get these organized the Bombardier the Goldengo, uh, the Frost Lass, and the Hoopa. And then we also pulled the Hoopa Secret Rare, and then the three Art Rares, uh, the Minion, or is that Plusel? I can't remember. Evetzel and the Aegis Lash. So thanks for joining me today. Really appreciate you dropping in. Um, please go ahead and like the video. Uh, if you enjoyed the content, leave a comment down below. Let me know what your uh, favorite poll was from today or uh, what your chase card is from this set. So thanks very much. Be good to yourself and be good to others.